what's up with the whoops this year? The nine whoop rule? That's, yeah. That's a bummer. I mean, I hate That's to see people get bummer. hurt. Like, one of my favorite riders is Christian, Christian Craig. Yep. I have it. Oh, I have his Southwick jersey from 22. He threw it in the crowd. And, and you it, got it? I didn't even know he threw it. It just landed on me. And I was like, <laughs> what is this? I just no rolled it up in a ball, put it under my shirt. Someone would steal it. No way. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> oh, my God. And my my girlfriend and I, like, she Talk fought. Talk about a beast and whoops. That dude is nuts. And that's what I was going to bring it up is that he crashed. Was that Denver? No, no, no. It was last year. It was on the Husky when he broke his elbow. He ate it in a whoop section? Yeah, really bad. Oh. Dislocated his hip or broke his hip, destroyed his elbow. Like it's still, I think oh. he just got, I think he still got stitches. Little I and, pay attention. Uh, all I know, oh, I am always an advocate of just like, we've had some big whoop sections in the past, long ones too, like yeah. 13, 14, 15, maybe more whoops than that. Yeah, that's crazy do it i think that by the time people get to the end of them like if they're that difficult and big you're not gonna be going that fast anyways i don't know but then yeah you're right about the safety the problem with the th the nine whoop rule Every, is it turns triple, into triple, a three triple. three three yeah and then it, it, and there's... it's always gonna be into the three 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 because it's less risk um once everybody starts doing it, like there's less to gain because it's like, well, yeah. nobody's skimming them anyway, so why don't we just jump them? And how much faster is jumping them? And it turns the difference into almost nothing. Right. There's and only there's a couple of tracks this no year. No separation. Racing was, is no. I was yeah. listening to a quick clip of Kitchen on mm -hmm. Gypsy Tales. Yeah. And they were talking about the whoops, and there was like only one track he said where he was like, "Yeah, I was I was skimming the whole time," and he goes, "It was sketchy." Yeah. <laughs> and I was maybe gaining a tenth. Yeah. So all that risk to just gain a temp. Yeah, it's like, and, uh. and I also, on that podcast, them uh, Kitchen talking about the risk of, I mean, not the risk, I guess, yeah, the risk of learning whoops. Like, that's something for Supercross in itself is learning how to hit whoops. And once you learn how to hit whoops, that's such an advantage that you have over so many people that... Yeah, it, what Supercross lacks is a proper way to learn it, which is our, our, our whole concept and theory with what we're going yeah. to do. It, it's amazing that nobody really has done it efficiently yet, but nobody's in a better position than Moto Academy to do it. And there, there needs to be a safe way to learn somebody that can teach, which there's people out there that kind of can teach it. Yeah. But shoot, I never really fully learned. I had people like overseeing me hit the whoops, but it wasn't super tactical, technical, precise instruction from what I remember. Yeah. I could be wrong, but like, and I hit whoops with like, everybody you know so like i spent a lot of time at davy Millsap's house he's mm -hmm. one of the best whip riders mm -hmm. ever i don't necessarily remember him teaching me anything specific about the whoops did you I, see that video of it was either davy or it was k-dub they they were in running shoes and jeans at a training facility it was Wyndham. got yeah it was Wyndham, and he got on the bike and just shredded this dragon's back jumped over it and all the kids were like what the yeah what? and almost like he kind of like got a little front and high in the dragon's back yeah. too and then yeah i saw a clip of him just recently railing a turn without gear on too no gear just oh my god Wyndham's a beast though if you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, you can do so on Spotify and Apple Music. If you want to send in your own video submission, you can join us in the Moto Academy family inside of the Moto Academy app by just going to themotoacademy.com. That's also where you can sign up for a class. Okay, guys. See you next episode.